The journey to remission continues tonight for our very own Cynthia Mulligan as she sets out to win the battle against breast cancer. She's dealing with losing her hair, but with a great support system, including the help of her two daughters, she's getting ready to kick cancer head on. I had my first chemo treatment five days ago. I know I'm going to start losing my hair within three weeks, maybe less. I'm not very happy about it, but it is the reality of the situation. So, to make myself feel better, I've come here to find myself a wig. And I brought my girls. We're going to have some fun and find Mummy's new look. Right, guys? Yeah. All right, let's go. Which one should I try on first? <gasps> okay. It's really important to me that this isn't a terrifying experience for my girls. So I'm trying to keep it as positive as I can for them. The main message I want to show my girls is that challenges can be overcome with grace and a smile. That's what I hope to teach them through this. I hope I can do it. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> We are at Continental Hair on Avenue Road. There is every style, length, and color imaginable to choose from. <laughs> Wigs can range from $500 for a synthetic one like this. You'd be able to have a nice, smart cut, you know, layer it out a little bit. To $4,000 for a real hair one like this. I look like Cher. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Michael Suba is the owner of Continental Hair and a cancer survivor himself. You know firsthand what people are going through. The, the fear and the, uh, the confusion um, and, and uh, uh, the shock, yeah. And this isn't about vanity. It really isn't. I've thought a lot about it, what bothers women about losing their hair, what bothers me about losing my hair. And it goes much deeper than vanity. It's, to me, this is a whole mental battle. And if you look sick and feel vulnerable, then you will. I don't want to look vulnerable and feel sick. I want to feel powerful. I want to look powerful. <laughs> you just look so cool. Let's take her back. This is my best friend, Martha. We went to university together. She's my stylist. How much is that wig, Michael? Something like this, you're looking closer to like 28, 2900. It's beautiful. Every one of those hairs is hand knotted into the base, so it's just all all done by hand. So it's 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 a nice piece of work. A bob. Yeah. You look like a Stepford wife. <laughs> what do you think, Pete? Should I go brunette? Yes. Oh, this is so not me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not on so many levels. Oh, that's uh, just wrong. Yeah. Oh, no. My little Hillary's biggest concern seems to be that my wig might fall off. What if it's really windy and she's not wearing a hat? Well, then she's going to tighten it up. Because in, in, in oh. here, you've got these elastics that you can move along to make it tighter so that it'll fit even more snug for days like that. OK? Does that make you feel better? Yeah. It won't fall off, OK? Now I'll blow and dry your hair. Blow dry my hair. Hit me, baby. <laughs> Michael helps hundreds of women every year cope with the devastating side effects of chemo. They come in and they're scared. They're, they're, they've, we've all heard horror stories of wigs. We've all seen horror stories of wigs. And they see that we're able to do something for them and it looks great and it's comfortable and it's nice and it's easy. And the, the relief is, is terrific. It's wonderful to see. It's almost like I still look like me. I can do this. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I've decided to go with something that is as close as possible to my hair. I still want to look like me. You've matched this to my real hair. Pretty wow. closely, I might add. No kidding. What do you think? Cool. Do you like the color? Yeah. Should I go with this? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Love you. <laughs> now, my new wig needs a good trim to match my haircut. Do you have breast cancer now? Y well, yeah. Is your hair gone? No, my hair's still underneath. But this is the wig I'm going to is have. Is this your hair? Nope, this is all the wig. Do you like it? No, is this your bangs? Nope, yeah. it's all wig. Oh, I'm proud of this one. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. Okay. It's great. Thank Here. you. I left testing out my new wig feeling relieved and prepared for my hair to fall out. 
My first chemo treatment was now exactly two weeks ago today, and I thought I'd start losing my hair in either week three or week four, but it's coming out far faster than I expected. So tonight, I'm cutting it all off, and my daughter Gwendolyn gets to take the first snip. Go ahead. Good job. Yeah. Now, my hairdresser, Albert, from Fiorio's in the Beach, went to work, first showing me what my hair can look like as it grows back after about four months. And now, after about two months. What do you think, Gwen? Good. <laughs> Is it coming out? Let's see. <laughs> okay, let's go shorter. And now, the new me, for the next six months or so. All right, here we go. The reveal. Ta-da! You've obviously got a great support network, but I, m my guess is that your two biggest supporters are your daughters. Oh, they give me so much strength. Now, how are they dealing with this? How did you present it to them, and how have they responded? I thought about it a lot before I told them about it because I didn't want it to be a terrifying thing. So what I said was, I'm not sick, but there's something in my body that will make me sick unless I get it out. Uh. And I'm going to look really funny for a while while we do that. And, yeah. and they laughed. And I, I made it a lot of fun. And guess what? Mommy's going bald, you know? <laughs> and they laughed. Yeah. So they know it's breast cancer. They yeah. know what that is. But they Did they you have it. somebody saying this is the way you should uh, deal with your kids or suggesting ideas about how to approach them on the issue? Uh, I, I had already decided that that's what I, what I was going to say to them. And then I talked to the social worker from my school. Yeah. She was wonderful. Uh -huh. And she agreed with the philosophy that I was taking. So yeah. she told me I was on the right track. Yeah. But she's also there at the school to talk to my kids if they need it. Big resource. Great help. Hair looks great. You like? I'm a little self-conscious, I have to admit. No, it looks great. Yeah. I mean, you know, if I saw you on the street, I'd say, yeah, okay, that's the old Cynthia. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> you it's not it. pink. <laughs> <laughs> the support continues to pour in for Cynthia online. If you want to keep up with her progress, visit her blog, citynews.ca.